and we're here with Hemp Squared. You're number three on the list today. How are you feeling? Excited and nervous. Yes. Are you going in there with a bang, with some really cool things to offer? Uh, we hope so. We <laughs> think we've got a really yeah. good product and we think we can really make this um, a good pitch. Awesome. We've met you guys a couple of times before and I'm sure you're going to do the best inside, so we wish you all success. Thank you very Don't much. Don't be too nervous. They're okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Uh, my name is uh, Iggy Ben. I'm founder and CEO of Hemp Squared. And this is Vic Redman, marketing manager and uh, director in the company as well. Um, we operate in Perth and in Bridgetown, uh, in the southwest of Western Australia. We are looking for a $300,000 investment, and in exchange, we are offering 20% equity in our business. Squared is a company that makes hemp line blocks to build houses that are very comfortable. Uh, we started in 2019 when we have uh, an, an, uh, worked on a um, period of R&D to find the ideal product and recipe for the Australian climate. In 2022, in January, we started our commercial production, and after three months, we hit our very first $100,000 revenue milestone. Hemp line blocks are breathable. They are very intuitive. They are sand absorbing. They are carbon absorbing, and they are non-combustible, making them very suitable for bushfire prone areas. We are looking to uh, develop a new product, which is hemp line tilt-up panels, which can be used for modular. What was the word? Hemp line tilt-up panels. Tilt-up panels. Yep. Like and concrete tilt. Oh yeah, like concrete mm. panels, mm. but yeah. made out of hemp concrete, mm. and they are going to be used for uh, modular housing. We are looking at certifying those for social housing, so that we can give everybody in society an opportunity to live in energy efficient, sustainable housing. And that's what we do. So we are uh, hoping that you find something in our little pitch um, that's, um, that makes you interested in our product. And uh, yeah. Well, it sounds fantastic. Um, uh, and I've, I've lived in a home that was made out of uh, uh, straw bricks. Yep. Um, and it was fantastic because yep. it was quiet, the noise deadening and everything else. And tilt up panels I've had a bit of experience with so I can see the the use. How much a square meter mm. or how much a cubic meter does it cost for these uh, uh, hemp walls? So at the moment the uh, the cost for a hemp wall made out of out of blocks um, is around about the uh, $120 per square meter laid. Um, with the tilt-up panels, we expect that that price will go further down um, because the, the the price of laying, the cost of laying the panels or st standing them up will be a lot quicker and in this climate, the labor cost is a, a large component um, of the installation of the product. It's going kind to of be poured like concrete into a, into a like the tilt-up panels are poured into a mould. That's correct. So you can pour yours into a mould? What, what we want to do is we want to make a structural um, frame out of concrete, which is a fly ash that is used from the old uh, power yes, uh, so site right. in Collie, um, and then infill that panel with hemp, oh. the hemp line. So it has got structural strength from the concrete, but it's got all the great benefits that the, the hemp creek has got. So what's the expected life of um, these bricks and, and panels? Has, have you tested that? It's a very good question. Um, the, uh, the hemp blocks are new, but they're not new. There are examples uh, in India of hempcrete being used that's 5,000 years old. Wow. They found a house in Italy 
that they thought was made out of limestone. Further research showed that it was actually made out of hemp lime and was 900 years old. Well, wow. so um, it's it's a, 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 an old pro, um, product. But did they use the same recipe as your recipe? Yes. Have you so you've yes. tested your recipe. So yep. there's a lot of companies that have gone and modified the recipe um, to introduce sand and all those sort of things. We've stuck with the original recipe, but the, the portions, the, the, the ratios in that, re in that um, uh, recipe, we've changed somewhat to make sure that it is suitable for the Australian climate. Yep. And I think what I was referring to before, so you're talking about doing prefabricated panels, not off form on in situ like you would. Yeah. Yep. 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 So, so could you do it in situ or? Yes, we can. Yep. The hempcrete takes about um, six to eight weeks to cure, yep. um, which kind of puts a bit of halt on the building process. Yep. So the benefit of having them prefabricated is yep. that the building Faster. continues straight away. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned earlier on that it was about $120 uh, per metre. Uh, what is that in comparison to brick or uh, concrete? To build a house out of hemp, uh, hemp lime blocks mm -hmm. um, on floor, uh, space rate is similar to a double brick home. Right. So you can build a house out of concrete for a similar sort of price as a double brick home. But the real benefit that you get is because the blocks are so highly insulative, it really cuts down your energy usage, so you need very little um, air conditioning to heat and cool your home. So the compounding benefits and the savings you make over time really recruit and they put you in front yeah. in a cost sense. Yeah, as an architect, I can see architects being really interested in this, but unfortunately, architect designed homes are only a small fraction of the market in WA. Have you spoken to volume home builders yet? We have started to have the conversation with, with the builders. Yep. Um, as we said, we started commercial production uh, in January 2022, mm -hmm. so we haven't commercially produced a lot. So we've spoken to some of the builders. Builders are not really interested at the moment to change methodology. So what we are actually doing is starting put info sessions out there, um, which are going to be attended by builders um, and tradespeople to see how easy it actually is to use our product. Because I guess the key for you to scale is to get into that volume Correct. home market. Correct. Yeah. At the moment, we we have more demand than what we can actually produce. Um, that's one of the reasons why we're looking for an investment to, to increase our um, production facility. And do you have a home that people can see that's been constructed of these? That's something that we're looking at building. So yep. we've had um, some conversations with the state government especially in social housing where there's a, a we're talking about a display village on social social housing in two different locations mm -hmm. in the southwest of western australia where we will have a display home where people can experience how great hemp is we're undergoing an expansion of our production facility at the moment and that's been partly funded by a hundred thousand dollar grant we received from the state government in february so mm -hmm. they're really behind what we're doing so what is the production capacity uh, at the moment and what can it be scaled up to? So when we started, we had a production capacity of about 20,000 blocks per annum. Mm -hmm. uh, we have since, since January already started uh, creating more space. So we are getting close to a capacity of around about um, 200,000 blocks per annum. If this, if this so, uh, material takes a while to... Cure, yes. like six weeks, you're saying, but um, you'll need an awful lot of space. Correct. Yeah. So we are putting it up on uh, in in, um, in special wrecking, and that's how it dries air drying. So and that's how we save yeah. our space. But we've got a large plot of land at the moment. Mm. So, yeah. And unlike bricks, it doesn't use any additional energy for the blocks to cure. They just air dry inside for about a week, mm. and then they can complete the curing outside in the elements. And availability of hemp, if you want, if it was scaled up. Can you get the hemp? Can you continue to? Yep, we're talking about that as well to get a processing plant um, established in uh, either Nenup or in Menjmup, and farmers are keen to get the hemp growing here as well. So at the moment we have got um, we have imported, but we'd love to get it here in WA. We'd like to get everything from WA. It's an emerging supply chain. So we're talking to Minister of Interior and about that as well. If you've got lots of land, can you grow the hemp? I wouldn't do that because I'm not an agronomist. <laughs> <laughs> Good hands. Good hands. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.